Hey everyone, I'm addressing a little problem that most of the students are facing that is uh, in terms of uh, uh, issues in terms of punctuation positions and uh, how to create a paragraph text and properly align them. Okay, so um, I'm in the process of creating a, a browser, so it's a threefold browser. And I have these guidelines and I'm going to use them as uh, my margins, uh, the end of the margins, so that I can create a paragraph text inside it. So to create a paragraph text, we're going to start with a text tool. And I'm just going to create from the edge, from one edge to the other edge. Okay. And um, because this is going to be a browser, we need to have a smallest text size, so roughly uh, 12 should be fine and let's keep Arial to make things a bit more standard and easy to follow up. Okay, so I have some uh, paragraph text that I have created and I'm just going to copy and paste that. Okay, so when I just paste it here, um, I get a lot of different uh, fonts and stuff. So let's just keep it as it is. Um, and you will also notice that we have some little hyphens at the end. We don't want that. We want it to be aligned to both sides and we want those words to move to the next line instead of just having a hyphen and split those words. So um, first thing that I want to do is I want to select it and if still Arabic numbers are still showing we will have to change the font to some other font. Alright so uh, let's just go here to paragraph if you don't know where paragraph is you should go to uh, window and there you will find paragraph. So I'm just going to click and drag this outside just to keep it um, focused. Okay, so first thing that I'm going to do is um, this changes depending on the kind of version that you have. I have 2020, I guess. So you might have to find these options in different places like it might be here uh, in a different place. Okay, so just check it uh, from different sections. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off. So that is one thing that's going to fix some of the issues. I'll press Control A to select all of them and turn this off. So you can see that it just got rid of all those hyphens that were there. Otherwise, you would have just went manually, just made those changes as well. Okay, so that's one thing. And the second thing is by default, you will basically have the left alignment or right alignment or center alignment. So when you do that, you will notice that the words are not reaching till the end, right? So that's another problem. So make sure that you choose this both left and right justification so that you have um, you have the text starting from the left extreme till the right extreme. Okay, and we also want to give a little margin because um, this words would just merge with the other sections of words that you might create in the other pages as well. So we want to give a little margin of uh, let's say ten points from the left side and ten points from the right side. All right, so now we have almost everything fixed. So we have our margins there. We don't have hyphens here. Um, everything looks fine. So we have two sets of paragraphs, okay, two paragraph texts. All right, so one last problem that you will notice is you will have this um, uh, punctuation problem where you have whatever you create in the end, whether it's a question mark or full stop, it just goes to the uh, left extreme. So uh, if you have this problem, Again, it uh, changes depending on the version that you have. So in my version, I, all I have to do is in the paragraph section, I go to the options here and you have uh, two sets of layout here. So world ready layout and a Latin uh, and Eastern Asian, uh, East Asian layout. So let's just click on this one and you'll notice that that fixed the issue with the punctuation and also it got rid of all those Arabic um, numbers that were there. Okay, so these two uh, changes should fix most of these issues. So once that is done, just make sure that you have same amount of space between the two uh, margins and we're done here. So um, just to keep this uh, content as it is, if you have a different font and you want to make sure that the same file opens in other computers, uh, the computers that doesn't have these fonts uh, also to show the same content, you can actually convert this text layer into a shape layer so I'll just right click here and convert to shape okay so that converts the text into shape now it looks the same no difference but you will notice that it is no longer a text layer which means like we cannot edit the text by itself but it will look it will appear as it is on any computers that you open okay so that's it thank you thanks for watching